get ready to create your own personalized AI assistant. This was a conversation between Jensen, the founder and CEO of NVIDIA, and Zuck from Facebook on Meta. And then also a recent blog post by Zuck on open source. So we are in the early stages of an AI arms race. The biggest, most influential and well-resourced companies in the world, the ones that you can see here on screen, looking a bit red overnight, uh, have more or less all pivoted their business models to focus primarily uh, on progressing their own development of artificial intelligence or AGI. There's a Google, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, even X, not on the screen. In a somewhat surprising plot twist, Meta uh, have emerged as the leading flag bearers of open source AI. So in, in that recent conversation with Jensen and, and Zuck, uh, Zuck shared the motivations behind his open sorcery. So here were the big ideas from the conversation. The first is just uh, the motivations behind going all in on open source. That, that's going to be the open one. And, and I, I, I'm pretty optimistic that in the next generation, the open ones are going to win. For, for us specifically, um, you know, I just want to make sure that we have access to, I mean, this is sort of selfish, but you know, I mean, it's, you know, after building this company for a while, um, one of my things for the next 10 or 15 years is like, I just want to make sure that we can build the fundamental technology that we're going to be building social experiences on because there've just been too many things that I've tried to build and then have just been told, nah, you can't really build that by the platform provider that at some level, I'm just like, nah, fuck that. For the next generation, um, like we're going to go build like all, all, all the way down and, and make sure that-, that There we goes can... our broadcast opportunity. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think it's a beep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, we're doing okay for like 20 minutes, but <laughs> give, me, give me talking about closed <laughs> platforms and I get angry. Um, <laughs> so he's, Zach's repeatedly shared that he believes the pros of open source in the models outweigh the cons. I think it's a good sign that there's some transparency. That he shares both the self-interest motivations, i.e. why he thinks it's in the best interest for himself and Meta in the race to AGI. Uh, how he's been screwed in the past by closed source platforms, like Apple. And then the broader ethical interest for everyone to pursue open source AI. So the second, uh, second big idea from the conversation is just about the new trajectory of, of Facebook or Meta, I should say, the Creator AI, AI Studio, and the boutique experiences. Each one of these AIs are fine-tuned off of Llama. And, and so we fine-tune them, we guardrail them. You know, if we, if we have, a, if we have a, uh, an AI design uh, for, for, uh, uh, for chip design, uh, we're not interested in asking it about politics, you know, and religion and things like that, so we guardrail it. And so, so I, think, I think every company will essentially have, for every single function that they have, uh, they will likely have AIs that are built for that, and they need help to do that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of the big questions is going to be in the future to what extent are people just using the kind of the bigger, more sophisticated models versus just training their own models for the uses that they have. And at least I, I would bet that they're going to be just a, a just vast proliferation of yeah. different models. People We use the largest ones, and the reason for that is because our engineers, are their times are so valuable. Mm -hmm. And so we get, uh, right now we're... So the new set of tools that are being developed by Meta, which you can check out, I think they're actually available in the States at the moment. They're going to allow users to create personalized AI agents through the AI studio. And the Creator Studio is obviously gonna be pretty well integrated with Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. Uh, but I think the bigger implication here is that with an open source model like Llama, anyone's going to have the ability to build their own similar service, like retraining the model on different data sets. You can get a feel for how that looks with Jensen explaining how they're already using Llama at NVIDIA to build their own custom AI agents. So if this kind of trajectory is successful, it's probably going to force other companies, the closed ones, towards some version of open source, or at least greater API access or making their platforms more flexibly accessible with different variations of their models, which I think is a good thing. So the third big idea is about 
uh, AI agents and some surprising findings on social simulation. Interact with, and then one of the interesting use cases that we're seeing is people kind of using these agents for support. Um, this was one thing that that was a little bit surprising to me is one of the top use cases for meta AI already is people basically using it to role play difficult social situations that they're going to be in. So whether it's a professional situation, it's like, all right, I want to ask my manager, like, how do I get a promotion or a raise, or I'm having this fight with my friend, or I'm having this difficult situation with my girlfriend, like, how, ha like, how can this conversation go? And basically having a, like, a completely judgment-free zone where you can basically role play that and see how, how, how the conversation will go and, and get feedback on it. Um, but I, a lot of people, they don't just want to interact with the same kind of you know, agent, whether it's Meta AI or ChatGPT or whatever it is that everyone else is using. They want to kind of create their own thing. So that's, that's roughly where we're going with AI Studio. But it's all part of this bigger, I, I guess, view that we have that there shouldn't just be kind of one big AI that people interact with. We, we, we just think that the world will be better and more interesting if there's a diversity of these different things. I just think it's so cool that if you're an artist and you have a style, you could take your style, all of your body of work, you could find... So I thought that was a super interesting observation. I think it's going to be more pronounced in coming months and years that AI is already being used to simulate unique social situations. A finding which is obviously driving the push toward these new personalized AI agents and tools. So just to close out, what is open source AI and why does it matter? So as you may or may not know, models, the current models are trained on ginormous amounts of internet data, sickening amounts of data. The training produces model weights, which you can think of as a digital cookbook storing all of the learned knowledge. It's only a small handful of companies that have the resources required to create competing cookbooks from scratch. This process requires disturbing amounts of money and energy. Unsurprisingly, most of these companies do not share or open source their entire cookbook. So when you use ChatGPT, you're basically getting gated access to a tiny sliver of a finished dish. The entire book, the recipes, the methods, the ingredients, they're all hidden. So the fundamental difference between open source models like Llama or the new Llama and closed source models like ChatGPT is that with Llama, the entire cookbook, the whole shebang, the source code, including the architecture, training scripts and pre-trained weights, they're all shared openly. So there's a heated debate at the moment, which is contesting the pros and cons of open sourcing the entire cookbook. You can see some of the folks here, the leader of the EAC movement, Beth Jesus, Mark Andreessen, even Elon Musk shares some similar open source ethos. Uh, so we won't go into the the details of the pros and cons, but suffice to say there's big pros and big cons. Uh, here's a quote directly from Zuck's most recent spiel on open source and the newly released open source Llama model, which I've shared in the links as well. It says, today we're taking the next steps toward open source AI becoming the industry standard. We're releasing Llama 3.1, 405B, the first frontier level open source AI model, as well as new and improved Llama 3.170 B and 8 B models. In addition to having significantly, these 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 are just the numbers of parameters, or as we discussed earlier, uh, the weights like that go into the cookbook. So in addition to having significantly better cost performance relative to closed models, the fact that the 405 B model is open will make it the best choice for fine tuning and distilling smaller models. We'll share links to all of these things in the essay and in the descriptions of the videos.